you guys didn't think that I was going to give you a Valentine's Day video without how to get over an ex video because, honey, look, all of us this Valentine's Day, and I do mean all of us, are not sitting around waiting for a date, waiting for a phone call, waiting for someone to come back to us. We are actually trying to move forward because we know that we deserve a whole lot more than what we've been getting. So let's just jump right into it, okay? If you have recently suffered a breakup, call this a breakthrough, okay? If someone dumped you or you dumped them, whatever the case may be, the relationship was shitty, it wasn't working, something was off, and that's why you felt a disconnect and you said, let's unplug, all right? So, if you're going through a breakup, it doesn't mean it's easy. Just because, you know, right now I'm sitting here bossed up in my trench coat because I mean business, you know what I mean? Just because I'm sitting here does not mean I haven't been through one of those dark days where you've been with somebody and you thought you were so in love and it ended and then you had this the depressive episodes and like you just didn't want to do anything. You didn't want to go anywhere. I'm here to tell you, you cannot do that when you're going through a breakup. When you're going through a breakup, you must come out into the light. And what's so important about coming out into the light is that if you don't come into the light, you face the risk of A, going back to something that was toxic for you, and B, being depressed for a longer period of time and interrupting the flow in the natural order of your life. So if you are supposed to be getting blessings, if new projects are coming up, if you are boggled down with heartbreak, you're no good to anyone. So let me just teach you a little few tricks that someone once taught me about how to get over a breakup. Okay, are y'all ready? Alright, the first step to getting over a breakup is I stand by this purely solely. Screw someone new or meet someone new. Okay? Some people out there will say, oh, you, it's so unhealthy. You shouldn't just freak somebody new. When Yes, you should. You should have a fun, no strings attached sexual lighthearted experience right after a breakup i think so especially if you are already sexually active if you're not sexually active this is not pertaining to you but if you are you should find that hot guy that's been really coming at you and you were trying to be loyal or that hot girl or just go out with your crew and open yourself up to, to just meeting someone new and just having a good time okay all right don't force it but if it lands in your lap do not run from it have fun enjoy yourself because actually once you screw someone new, it breaks that bond that you had with someone else. You know what I mean? Like, it, it it's like you don't feel a sense of, like, I have to be loyal. I have to feel this type of way. Like, you start to feel lighthearted. You start to feel free. You start to feel like, you know what? Move forward. All right? The next thing that I would do in terms of getting through a breakup is link up with your crew. Don't run from your friends. They are your best, 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 best bet in getting over someone and quickly. Because when you spend a lot more time with your friends and they cheer you up and they remind you, they pump a uh, 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 good energy back into you. They breathe life into you. Good friends, that's what they do. Good friends breathe life back into you when you feel like you're your lowest, that you won't, you aren't good enough. I mean, one time my heart got broke so bad, I had to lay in my best friend's bed for a week crying, and she just let me, and we ordered pizza and watched reruns of Flavor of Love. I mean, what could be better than that? You know what I'm saying? What kind of support? Like, that? that's like... <laughs> That's like the ultimate support. You know what I mean? And like, shout out to my homegirl who did that because she really revitalized me. She literally nursed me back to health because my heart was just so broken. And that's really a sickness. Heartbreak is a sickness. That's why people like kill themselves over people like that they love because they take it so far and like it just, it just sucks everything out of them. So you have to care. Self-care is important. And in order to self-care, it also means being around the people that love you and can support you the most during your time of need. Okay? The next thing that I would suggest to do is unfollowing them via social media. Okay. I have a few friends that I follow and I can tell when they're going through something crazy with someone that they're dealing with. Um, and they, it shows through the posts that they make because they're, they're going crazier because they have to see this other person live their new life with someone else. And it's stressful. You know what I mean? Like it does them absolutely no good at all. 
Um, and so I think it's healthy. Don't feel bad. Don't feel like, oh, I don't want to seem like it's petty or I don't want to seem like I can't handle it. Shit, I can't ha fucking handle it. Like, if you cannot handle it, you can't handle it. It's okay. Maybe later on you could be friends. Maybe later on you could refollow them, whatever the case may be. Like, and the thing is, you can re unfollow them without them knowing because the, the thing is, you want them to keep following you. You want them to see how you've glowed the fuck up, how you're living and winning your best life. You know what I mean? So that's your choice. If it's, it helps you, if it's therapeutic for you, unfollow them. Okay, the next thing I would suggest is book an international flight. And if your money ain't long enough for that at the time, book a weekend getaway somewhere. Like seriously, take yourself somewhere that you're going to have fun, even if it's a weekend in D.C., if you can't go overseas. But if you can afford to book a flight or, or even if you book a flight and it's for like months from now, Preparing for that trip will take your mind off of everything about that person. And, like, you'll start to do things like go to the gym more or work out more because you want to get your body ready for it. And and it just, your life won't be so consumed with thoughts of this other person. You know what I mean? Okay. And last but not least, how to get over someone? I'm a spiritual person. So I say pray. Prayer always works for me when I'm feeling my lowest uh and i just need to communicate with a higher power and just saying affirmations like i am over this person i am free of heartbreak i am a winner i am beautiful i am strong i am smart i am masculine i am whatever you want to say that can uplift you do that and also pray pray to god that you know this is just a fleeting moment and you will find someone new one day that will make you very, very happy. But first, make yourself happy. And making yourself happy means following all of those rules that I said above. Like, there's nothing wrong. There's no shame in your game. There's no wrong or right way of getting through a breakup, you know. Do what really works for you. But these are just some tips that have helped me through because I'm a Pisces and I love extremely hard. And so, whenever my spirit has been broken or my heart or I've been let down, you know, I've had to pick up the pieces. And some... Some of them have been picked up within 24 hours, while others, it took a little bit longer to get through. So don't feel like you're alone. And I love you guys. And I want you guys to be stronger, more fit, more beautiful, and just happy. And yeah, I know how bad.